Hi everyone, Sage Topaz here. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. I really appreciate it. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day and staying safe. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about upcoming movies that I'm super excited about. So let's get straight to it. So the first movie that I'm super excited about is Mortal Kombat! Mortal Kombat! Woohoo! Oh my goodness, I am so excited about Mortal Kombat. Did y'all catch the trailer? Woo! Oh my goodness, I'm so hyped about the trailer, man. Like, the trailer is amazing, and it is everything I expected in a Mortal Kombat movie and more. I have been following the development of this Mortal Kombat movie, hearing all kinds of rumors, which characters are going to be in it, all this stuff, blah, blah, blah. And the trailer finally came out a few days ago, and oh my goodness, ah, I can't wait. It has all my favorite characters in it. Melina, that's like one of my favorite characters. She's going to be in it. Liu Kang is going to be in it. Kong Lao, Jax, Sonya Blade, oh my goodness, Raiden, Shang Tsung. Oh, oh my goodness, I'm getting so excited just talking about this. Oh man, so yes, it looks absolutely amazing. Um, I cannot wait. It is about time that Mortal Kombat fans got a new Mortal Kombat movie. Um, the first MK movie, I thought it was amazing. That was made in 1995. And the sequel, listen, it got bad reviews because the, it, the, the special effects weren't that great and the story was all over the place. But I'm a Mortal Kombat fan, so I, I like I liked um, the sequel, the uh, Mortal Kombat um, movie sequel. I thought it was great. But this reboot is coming out and it just looks absolutely badass. And what I'm so excited about too is that the movie is going to be rated R. And if any of you guys follow the Mortal Kombat video games, you know how violent the Mortal Kombat video games are. And I was always thinking to myself, like, if they ever make a Mortal Kombat movie, they need to make it R. Because um, the first Mortal Kombat movie, that was PG-13. So, you know, they just couldn't have the freedom to, you know, make it all, like, violent and add all these fatalities and stuff like that. But this new movie is rated R, and it's going to be gory, and that's exactly what Mortal Kombat is about. It's a gory, violent, badass video game. So I am super excited about it. And um, also, the main character of this movie... Oh, his last name is Cole. I don't know why I can't remember his first name right now. But um, this Cole character, he's a newly created character for this Mortal Kombat movie. And he's played by Louis Tan. And if you don't know Louis Tan, he's like an up-and-coming actor. He was in uh, Wu Assassins and Into the Badlands. And there are martial arts um, TV shows. And this is like his first major, like he's the main character in a major motion picture. And uh, this is just going to skyrocket his career. So I'm super excited for him. So yeah, um, Louis Tan is going to be Mortal Kombat. So yeah, congrats to him. And he's also in Deadpool 2 as well. So yeah. But yeah, I am. I cannot wait for the Mortal Kombat movie, man. It's coming out April 16th. The only problem I have with this Mortal Kombat movie is Johnny Cage isn't in it. Like, where's Johnny Cage at? You know, so I'm just hoping that maybe Johnny Cage will appear later in the movie or you know, hopefully um, this movie is going to do well and then they make a sequel and then he'll appear. But it's just so weird that Johnny Cage isn't in there. Like, Johnny Cage is one of my favorite characters. He's also a fan favorite, so I don't know why he's not there. And Katana. Katana is also one of my favorite characters as well. So I don't know why she's not in the movie either. So that's kind of weird. And Baraka, you know, Baraka, he should have he should have been in there too. But hey, look, it looks amazing regardless. So April 16th, Mortal Kombat is coming out. Cannot wait. Okay, the other movie that I am super excited about is Tom and Jerry! Tom and Jerry is coming out February 26th. Tom and Jerry is one of my favorite cartoons of all time. Been watching Tom and Jerry since I was a little girl. I absolutely love it. And I just saw the trailer for it and I was just like, oh my goodness, Tom and Jerry! They're making a Tom and Jerry movie! I'm so excited! Um, it has like a, it's an all-star cast, um, Chloe Grace Mortez, I hope I didn't mess up her last name, but yeah, she's a, you know, she's a, a very popular actress, she was in uh, Neighbors 2, she was in, um, what was that movie, The Miseducation of Cameron something, I don't remember the movie, but it was a good movie, but yes, she is a very good actress, um, Colin Jost is in the movie as well, and um, Colin Jost, um, if you don't know him, he hosts um, SNL's um, Saturday Night Live's um, Weekend Update with Michael Che, and they're just such a hilarious duo. So he's going to be in it as well. And uh, Colin Joss is actually one of the writers for Saturday Night Live, 
So he's a really good comedy writer. So I'm excited because if he's in this Tom and Jerry movie, that means the movie is definitely going to be funny. So, and also, um, Kang Jong is going to be in the movie as well. Sorry, I don't know if I messed up his last name. I'm so bad at last names. <laughs> but yeah, Ken Jong is going to be in it. Um, you know, the guy from The Hangover. And yeah, so I saw the movie and I was just so excited. Like I said, I love Tom and Jerry. I watch cartoons to this day. I don't care. I think cartoons are amazing. I still watch Tom and Jerry. And I'm so super excited and hyped up to see Tom and Jerry. And I hope this new generation of children watch this movie and enjoy it as well. So I can't wait for that. The only thing that I'm nervous about this Tom and Jerry movie is that I just hope it is a simple, straightforward, family-friendly movie. You know what I mean? I just hope that they don't, like, make it all woke and maybe, like, put in social and political issues in it. You know what I'm saying? Like, just just keep it classic. Just keep it simple. Just just make it a simple, light-hearted family-friendly movie. That's what Tom, Jerry, Tom and Jerry is all about. It's just supposed to be a simple simple concept a cat and a mouse who chase each other you know and fight and they're you know deep down they're friends but you know they like to give each other a hard time and it's simple just keep it simple like that so i'm super excited about tom and jerry but like i said i hope that they don't make it all you know woke <laughs> it's a kids movie just leave it just leave it as a kids movie just just keep it simple keep it fun that's all i hope for this tom and jerry movie so yeah that is coming out february 26th Another movie I'm excited about is Space Jam, A New Legacy. Yes, and that is coming out July 16th. I am so excited because that is the sequel to Space Jam. The last Space Jam movie, I think that was in 1992, I believe. So that was a long time ago. I mean, that was a long, long time ago. And I have been hoping for a uh, Space Jam sequel, and they're finally making a Space Jam sequel. I'm telling you, 2021 is just starting off so well, right? <laughs> I mean, it's far from perfect, but man, these movies, I mean, oh my goodness. I'm so happy about that. So yes, so Space Jam, um, A New Legacy, is going to be starring LeBron James, um, Anthony Davis, Kyrie Irving, Damian Lillard. Clay Thompson, and uh, Soniqua Martin-Green, you know, uh, Sasha from The Walking Dead, and she's also in Star Trek, I believe, yes, um, but yeah, that's going to be coming out, and I cannot wait, I love Space Jam, I remember when I was little, and the movie came out, and I was just so excited, and like, I saw all my favorite players there, including Patrick Ewing, um, people who know me know that I'm a huge Knicks fan, and it's because of Patrick Ewing that I became a Knicks fan. So I just remember that scene where Jordan and like uh, all the other players, they had like the ball and they like touched it and they like got their powers back because the bad guys took the basketball players' abilities. Anyway, whatever. Um, I'm just blabbling on. But basically, I am so super excited. I'm surprised that Kyrie Irving's gonna be in it though, because you know Kyrie Irving and uh, LeBron, you know, uh, they kind of have a bit of a some a, a little bit of uh you know they butted heads before mostly because of Kyrie. So I mean, I wonder how things went on behind the scenes. I wonder if uh you know him and Kyrie kind of like you know butted heads or they just ignored each other. But anyway, but yeah, it is so it is so exciting. I love Looney Tunes and like I said, I love the first Space Jam movie and yeah, I'm just about time that they made a sequel. So. Very excited. I mean, like I said, the last Space Jam movie, LeBron was like still a kid when that movie came out. So that's just really cool that um, he's going to be in it. And also, um, I have to check because I'm not sure if there are other basketball players that are going to be, which other basketball players are going to be in the movie. But I hope Giannis is going to be in that movie as well. That would be really cool. And uh, Steph Curry, because, you know, Steph Curry is like dominating the league right now breaking records left and right so and they should add a nick in there okay like look my knicks we are going through some hard times so i believe we'll make the playoffs this year but they should add like they should add um rj barrett they should add um uh derrick rose okay just just bring a nick in there okay like just come, can you guys you know can you give us a break what am I saying? The movie's already come out, so <laughs> there's nothing we can do. There's nothing they can do because the movie's already been made. But oh well, one day, um, yes, the Knicks are going to be on top again, on top of the NBA again, and uh, you know, we will be featured in a basketball movie. Yeah. Anyway, um, <laughs> oh, I was just thinking to myself, I think they should actually make like a soccer version of Space Jam, right? 
Like if they made like a soccer version, I don't know, maybe Ronaldo, Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi. Those are like the greatest football players, and uh, soccer players in the world right now, right? So how cool would that be if they made like a uh, soccer space jam? They could call it like, I don't know, space goal or space kick or something. Anyway, just throwing it out there. Hollywood, if you steal my idea, that's that was my idea, okay? So you better give me some credit for that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah, um, those are the free movies that I'm excited about. I'm definitely going to check them out. Um, and um, oh, another movie I'm excited about is Judas and the Black Messiah. Actually, that movie's come out, and I'm actually going to watch it tonight. <laughs> yes, that movie, definitely check it out. It looks amazing. I'm going to watch it, and yeah, it looks really good. But so it's not an upcoming movie. It's just a movie I'm excited to see. So, yeah. But anyway, um, yes, thank you for watching and checking out my video. And yes, um, stay safe, and have a wonderful day. Bye.